Hi, welcome to another RHC series video. In this one, we'll look at DNS. Okay, let's have a look at the objectives first. So, uh, under DNS, you are required to configure a caching only name server and also to troubleshoot DNS uh, client issues. Uh, the usual around um, network services, such as uh, making sure you install the correct packages. Uh, doing SE Linux configuration if required, configuring the uh, service to start automatically, and also to set up a uh, basic um, operation uh, that also applies. So we'll do the uh, following. Um, we'll, on server one, we'll configure um, a caching uh, name server. And on server two, we will point it uh, DNS to server one and we'll perform some testing and also explore some troubleshooting commands as well. Okay, so let's get started. So this is uh, server1.example.com. Uh, first thing we want to do is uh, uh, install the correct packages. Uh, the package name is unbound, so that's yum install unbound uh, dash y. Okay, the config file for this um, uh, package is in etc unbound unbound.conf. So let's have a quick look at this file. I'll scroll through the file. There's only a few options that we need to set. Um, the first one that we need to set is the uh, interface that it listens on. By default, it listens on localhost. So let's uh, get it to listen on its uh, proper IP. So that's interface colon, and then the, um, the interface IP you want it to listen on. So in our case, 10.10.10.147. .10 uh, default port is 53. There's no reason to change that. So leave that as is. What else have we got here? Okay, so this is um, telling DNS to provide both IPv4 and IPv6. Again, that's default. There's uh, no need to change that. Uh, this is important, access control. So this um, tells the server uh, which um, IP range to allow it to connect to. So that's access control. And then you can either specify host or a whole subnet. Uh, so in our case, we will allow the whole subnet 10.10.10.0 Everything else uh, looks like you can leave it at default. Okay, so this is the important setting, the forward zone. Um, so this is where you're telling Unbound which zones to forward the queries for. Uh, we want to forward everything, so we'll set the zone as just dot that will forward everything. So name, colon, uh, put dot inside quotes. And then we want to specify where to forward to. So we'll do a forward address and we'll use um, Google's DNS, which is uh, 8.8.8.8. And that's pretty much it. Um, just save the settings of, of this file. And let's um, set the service to um, start automatically and also start the service. So that's system CTO enable unbound. And system CTL start unbound. Ooh, uh, so this, it didn't start for some reason. So let's uh, see what the issue was. So the system CTL status unbound. And if you do a dash L, it will show you the full lines. Uh, so it looks like a syntax error. So we probably missed a uh, 
quote. Let's go back into the uh, Unbound file. Okay, so the forward zone looks okay. Uh, I think it did say line 208, so let's go straight to that line. To go to uh, any particular line, you just do colon uh, and the number. So I think it was 208. So let's do 208. Um, nothing there. Okay, let's have uh, another look at the message, actually. Uh, so if we um, come out of here. Just have a look. So, ah, okay, I see. Uh, it's a, we. I think we missed a directive, so we should have put allow after our subnet. So let's go back into that again. And if we go back up to uh, our access control, not this one. Next one. Yes. So we should have uh, put allow after this. So let's just add that in quickly. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so that there was no error. So let's check the status again. Uh, yep, yeah, it's running. Um, so that's good. Let's um, open up the firewall to allow connectivity so that's firewall cmd dash dash permanent and we want to add service and the service is dns so service equals dns just reload the uh, firewall rule so that's just firewall cmd dash dash reload let's um check that it's listening on the correct IP so netstat will show you that and if we just grab, grab on um, port 53 there we have it so 10 10 10 47 is bound to port 53 okay the, the command that you can use is unbound dash control and that will allow you to uh, do quite a few things I would suggest you uh, look at this uh, the man page for this um, before the exam just have a quick glance through it so you know what's available I'm not gonna go through it now um, one of the first things is uh, unbound control and then you can do a status and that will show you the status of the uh, unbound server and here we go it's running the version etc okay only thing left to do then is uh, let's point our server to to use this DNS server. The easiest way to do this is just put it in the resolve.conf. This is temporary only. As soon as the interface restarts, it will get its DNS settings from there. But just for testing purposes, we can do that. So let's um, do a few lookups. Okay, looks good. There it is. And it is listing on 10.10.10.47. 10, 10, well, that's what it's looking for his queries. Let's do a few uh, more. Okay, all looks good. I'm just doing this to uh, fill up the cache. Okay. So some of the commands that you can use, so unbound control, um, that's available. So look up to see if uh, there's a if there's an entry in the cache for it, so there we go. So we did Google, so there is an entry. Um, let's try one other one. Uh, the damp cache that will um, show you everything that's in the cache. You can also output that to a file, which effectively backs it up, and then you can read that back. So let's uh, dump that to a file. The other command that's available is um, uh, flashing a particular entry from the cache or even flashing a, a complete zone. So you can, so flash underscore zone and the name of the zone, uh, name of the zone. So in our case, just 
dot that will uh, clear the cache now if we um, did another damp cache on this it should be empty so let's uh, give that a try okay it's empty you can, you can also read the damp the cache from a, a file you saved the dump to so that's just load cache and then the name of the file uh, so we saved this earlier so let's reread it back okay now if you look at the cache again there you go it's read it all back and that's pretty much it for the uh, dns video um, i hope you found it useful uh, and thanks for watching uh, there's some contact details on the screen if you have any uh, questions or suggestions then uh, do drop me a line